Hi, this is Chris from Rocking Pocket Games. I'm going to show you some scenes from our new title, Zombies HD, which was also known as Zombies The Last Stand on the iPhone. On the left is an original iPad, on the right is an iPad 2. So this game is a first person shooter with zombies in it, and you can see it's quite choppy on the iPad 1. This is why we didn't release it for the iPad. And the zombies are paused right now because I'm cheating. I put in a, a button that will pause them all so I can just walk around uninterrupted. So this is what most games look like on the iPad. It's basically flat shading, no shadows, no per pixel effects. And when we get the iPad 2 running, we can do all those things and still have it running at a faster frame rate which is amazing. So we'll go over to the iPad 2. You'll see we have shadows and these are full scene shadow mapping on the characters and the buildings and that's something you don't even see in titles such as Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, 4 on the PS3. So you see it, there's shadows coming off the building. And the other effect, which I do not have turned on yet, is parallax mapping. And parallax mapping is basically uh, a bump mapping, but it gives displacement to each pixel. So it's like displa displacement mapping that works on pixels instead of vertices. So let's turn that on. You see the ground is now bumpy and it has depth to it when you move around. And it's more apparent when you look at the, the stones on the church. You see the stones have depths and they're popping out of there. Turn it off. That's what it looks like normally. And really, there's not much loss in speed on the iPad 2. Considering all the, the work that it's doing on every pixel on the screen. So the iPad 2 is very, very powerful. And as far as I know, these shadows are not being used by any other developer on the iPad yet. So our company is the first to use them. Even in the great Infinity Blade by Chair and Epic, they don't have any character shadows. They have very nicely detailed textures though. But there's no dynamic lighting like this game has. So let's, uh, let's get these zombies in motion. Here one comes. Zombies are attacking. Go away, zombies. So if you guys want an experience that looks like Left 4 Dead for your iPad, this is it. You're not getting anything closer than this with the same atmosphere and lighting effects. So I forgot to show you one thing. This is what the original iPad looks like with all the effects turned on. You can see the frame rate is basically unplayable. And the same thing on an iPad 2. So there is a huge difference between these two. Here is one other example of parallax mapping in Zombies HD. This is a this is with parallax mapping turned off. It's what you would normally see in most iPad games. And when you turn it on, 
everything has depth and shadows and that is still just a single polygon on the screen but it has so much more detail Thank you for watching my demonstration of Zombies HD. I hope you'll go buy the game when it's available on the App Store.